this versus that, which one do you prefer? Let's take a closer look at each one. Look at the pros and cons. If you are a subscriber to my channel, thank you and welcome back. If you're not, please consider subscribing. It's free. And don't forget to hit the bell notification so you don't miss upcoming videos. This is Farshid with another video just for you. Today, I'm going to take a look at this brand of a thermostat versus this brand. Not so much the brand itself, but the design. How this one's designed and how this one here is designed. In the comments below, let me know which one you prefer because at the end, I'll tell you which one I prefer. So earlier this year, I posted a video showing this exact thermostat. Can you tell the difference between these two thermostats? Physically, the difference, this one, the front of it is melted and this is why. So as you take this thermostat apart, which I've taken it further than you guys probably would, but uh, as you take this thermostat apart, two main sections. One is the back plane, which is attached to the wall and all the wiring from the HVAC system comes and terminates here. And then the front face, which contains the batteries. So you probably figured out what happened to this thermostat by just looking at this. Battery failed, so the acid started uh, dripping down. There's the path of it. Went on top of these connectors and created a short, created enough heat to melt the face of the thermostat. So this is, this is one particular design. So you have the, the batteries inside, which in this case, they're positioned right above the electronics. And while we're at it, we're talking about batteries. These batteries have a date. So um, the year that this is being recorded, it's 2021. The date on this battery is 2017 to 2026, I believe. So I'll, I'll uh, give you guys a close up of this. Actually, it's 2024. So this still has three more years of life left on this. Back to the design of this thermostat. The batteries are sitting right above the electronics, so if something like this happens, then you're going to have something like this happen. Also, not to mention that every time you have to change the battery, which most likely is every two, three years, uh, depending how often the unit's being used, because the uh, more often the units run, the relays in here, the relays activate, so therefore you're using the more of the battery, and uh, so it shortens the life of the battery. So needless to say, at some point you have to go in there and change the batteries, and in order to change the batteries, you decouple the two, so the back plane stays on the wall. Now you have this in your hand, you take the batteries out, you put your new batteries in. Then what you have to do, I'm gonna use this one here, then what you have to do is, as you put this back in, you have to follow the correct order. So the top uh, clamps on and then you snap it in. As you're doing that, what you're doing is these pins, they have to line up with these holes. So each one of these pins, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pins, they have to line up with these holes. If, for whatever reason, if one of these pins are out of alignment, which I've seen it happen, if one pin is out of alignment, it's not going to fit in there, then your AC is not going to run. So that's the second issue that I take with this particular design of a thermostat. All right. So that's this design. Let me show you another design. Now a word from our sponsor. Let me 
show you another design. You have to again go through the process of decoupling the two in order to mount this onto the wall. That's the back plane, and this is the front face of it, right? So you do this once. And one other thing I should mention is, as you may have noticed already, if you look at the pins, the size of these pins versus these, this thermostat, the pins are bigger, they're thicker, so harder to bend. But once you have this wired, then you couple them and that's it, you're done. When you need to change a battery, you change the battery by opening up the front compartment and replace your batteries. You don't have to decouple and recouple the whole thing every time you change batteries. And the second feature that I like is that the batteries are down here. So the thermostat sits like this, batteries are down here. If I have an issue with a battery, as I did with this battery here, the acid leaks out of the battery, it's gonna drift down here. It doesn't go over the electronics. So that's another plus. Third thing I like is this huge display. For the install, so these are the connections, the differences between the two. They're all labeled, which they're labeled here as well. One thing that you notice, these are color coded. So, and in uh, HVAC, the wire that comes out and terminates here should be a red colored wire, green one and a white one. So they uh, try to help you eliminate any mistakes. So there you have it. So this is one thermostat and I told you guys why I uh, prefer this one over this other one. And now you guys um, vote and put your comments down below and tell me which one you like better. As I'm editing this video, I notice I failed to mention a few key points. One, with this thermostat, there are four points, pins, slash latches that make the assembly process much easier. You just line them up and snap the two together. Where with this one, as I mentioned earlier, there is a process. So you have to make sure that you hook the top of the thermostat first, and then that will help to align the pins and the holes on the connections. And then you latch it together using these two latches. The other thing is that with this thermostat, as you can see, there are four holes slash pins that we have to make sure they stay in line when we put them together versus this one. We have to make sure all eight pins and the holes are lined up before we snap them together. Also, the other nice thing that they've done with this thermostat is that you get the batteries included where uh, with this one, you have to make sure that you buy the batteries separately. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification. Thank you for watching. And this is upside down. It should be this way like that.